Hello guys, welcome back to my channel, Will here. We're giving Subnautica another go. I played this, uh, boy, last time I played Subnautica and uploaded a video of it was maybe in June. So we're starting a fresh run today, guys. I'm going to be doing a new game. We're going to be doing uh, Subnautica on the Nintendo Switch, of course. So let's go and get this started. Man, that music is popping. We're gonna go get this started, guys. So we're gonna do a new game. By the way, guys, uh, if you're new to my channel, if you enjoy this type of content, drop a like and a subscribe. It's greatly appreciated. Any support is greatly appreciated. You have no idea, or maybe you do have an idea of how hard it is to get your YouTube channel off the ground, uh, especially in 2021, when a lot of people are stuck at home with nothing better to do than to make a YouTube channel. So I am one of millions. So any, any support's appreciated. We're going to go in and just do survival. And let's get this started. You know, it's it's Monday. I'm supposed to be starting a new job today here in about an hour or so. So I figured I could squeeze in some recording. And I thought, what the hell, man? I haven't played some Nautica in a while. Uh, let's Why not do a few videos and upload them to my YouTube channel? So that's what we're doing today. So good. So there we got the Aurora. <laughs> On its way to, to this alien planet. Alright. Now being on the uh, Nintendo Switch, the graphics aren't going to be PC rated, but I think it gets the job done. Just like Skyrim. It gets the job done, but when it comes to rendering distance... Definitely should have caused major trauma to my brain, my skull, all the organic components of my head. Ooh. Gotta get that fire extinguisher. <laughs> I love the music for this game. It's amazing. It's like the blood pumping, you know? Did I get water in my PDA? The audio sounded a little off. Booting in emergency mode. This is considered an optimal outcome. This PDA has now rebooted in emergency mode with one directive to keep you alive on an alien world. Please refer to the data bank for detailed survival advice. Good luck. Well, thank you. That's nice. I think I'll need all the luck I can get. So we got a we got a medical kit in the medical kit fabricator. Uh, what do we got in the storage container? I have a fire extinguisher equipped and a first aid kit. Uh, there's two flares, two filtered waters, and two nutrient blocks. Uh, looks like everything's offline. Circuitry test failed. Secondary systems offline. Radio offline. Everything else looks horrible. Hey, at least the uh, hole integrity is okay. That's always something good to take away from this. Uh, so I guess let's... Is the radio working? Is this the... It's a damaged radio. Okay, let's go ahead and check out the world, guys. Sky rays. Hey, friend, where are you going? Ooh, Nelly. Orbital Cause unknown. Zero human life signs detected. Oh, come on. We... You, you guys know what happens. I mean, I kind of know what happened, but let's dive in. Whee! All right. Um, so, let's uh, gather some essentials. Let's do some swimming. Wait for the world to finish rendering. But as I was saying, Skyrim uh, on the Nintendo Switch, it's, it's really good. It gives you the ability to play uh, Skyrim on the go, which is 
Hands down, in my opinion, that's honestly like, hey, get back here, you little fish. Get back here, you peeper. Peeper. Hey. Got the little Joy-Con analog sticks are kind of hard to, to I should have gotten out the other controller. What have I done? Ah, I got two peepers. Oxygen. Oh, I need to breathe. I forgot I need air. Oh, man. I, I would need air, right? I'm going to gather some of these acid mushrooms. Okay, uh, we got the... Uh, I guess I could go get some uh, of that, that silicone. I'm going to go grab some silicone. Don't mind me, gastropods. I'm just swimming by you. Don't want any trouble. You guys are peaceful, but you shoot them... Uh, and poison bowels. I'm gonna get some air before I go back down to get some uh, some lubricant. So yeah, uh, Skyrim on the Nintendo Switch is really good. It's just uh, because the Switch isn't as powerful as a PC or an Xbox for that matter, or a PlayStation, honestly. Uh, the rendering distance Life isn't too well. Can I get some more? Can I not get this creep vine? Hello? Oh, there we go. It was... I don't know what was happening there. The game might still be loading. The rendering distance isn't too good. And in Skyrim, as you're like... As you're running, uh, you can see like plants and trees and, you know, animals just like... Pop up in the backgrounds. Uh, the further you are away from it, and then it just like comes out of nowhere. It, it enters your reality, so to speak. Might as well go down here and get some uh, some minerals. I mean, some of those delicious minerals. We got some. We got some uh, uh, titanium thing over there. Limestone. Copper. That's copper. Essential component of all powered equipment. I know, baby. Your probability of survival has just increased to unlikely, but plausible. We have unlikely now. That's nice. That's. Oh, hey, yeah, I saw that. You little Oxygen. biting bastard. Get away. Actually, I'm going to tell us if you read it. Go with the peeper. <laughs> oh, no, I'm going to drown. I died. <laughs> that's, <laughs> that's one way to start this let's play. Uh, starting the game off and instantly drown. Man, that sucks. Well, then again, I, I maybe I can hold my breath for 30 seconds. Uh, so, I mean, I get it. I died and lost some belongings. Well, that's okay. I'm not the world's best Subnautica player, but I do know my way around a ship or two. Uh, Let's go ahead and use the fabricator real quick. I'm going to turn that uh, metal salvage into titanium. You know what we need? We need an oxygen tank, actually. Let's uh, check and see what we can do about getting an oxygen tank. Standard O2 tank. It's so easy to get, and I fucked it up. All right, here we go. All right! We need to work on getting a high capacity O2 tank at some point in time. You know what we need? We need some flippers. That's what we need. I think uh, we got to go back to the kelp. Blood, uh, bl not blood kelp. Uh, we got to go back to those fields. Get some of that silicone. That's exactly what we're going to do. So let's, uh, let's head back out. All right, guys. Take two. Let's do this. Uh, it's It should be over yonder, I guess. I don't know. We'll find out. Oh, there's some over here. Look at these little floating things. What are these? Floaters? Take a floater. What can I do with this? Can I attach the floater to the uh, gastropod? Hey, friend. Oh, I attached it to him. Oh, is he floating? What happened to him? What happens if I attach more? Can you float? I'm sorry, guys. I really got to test this theory. I'm really curious now. I'm going to attach as many floaters as I can to this gastropod. Oh, he's shooting bubbles at me. Ow, shit, I missed. No, 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 no. It attached to him. Oh, hell yeah. You see, I think... 
And man, he is getting really excited with those those balls. Where's he going? Hold on, friend, where are you going? Why are you why are you going all the way over there? I think he's having some trouble. He's having some trouble trying not to uh float away over there. Let's uh let's get more of the floaters. I, I really I really this is for science. I wanna find out what happens to a gastropod when you overload it with floaters. Oh shit, the rock's going down. Dwayne Johnson's going down! Can't let that happen. He's America's sweetheart. My, uh, the back of my neck itched. So this guy is having some trouble. I'm gonna get some air, actually. We're not making that mistake again. Oh, what the... Little peeper! It's breaching the surface. Alright. Alright, gastropod, I'm just gonna... Okay, so, he's laughing at me. But he's having trouble not... What is he doing? Is he breaching? He's breaching the surface! Like a true gastropod. Look, it's beautiful! Oh, it's so elegant! He's... Oh, he's still shooting those little balls out. Look at you! You look good! It's nice you guys are friendly. Otherwise, I'd be terrified. So that's what happens when you attach floaters to something. I kind of want to see what happens when you attach floaters to a Reaper Leviathan. That'd be pretty awesome uh, to see. Anyways, we're on a mission. Uh, we need to... I don't have a scanner yet. We need to get some silicone so we can uh, make the flippers. So we can... Uh, do them a little faster. That's exactly what we're going to do. My mission last time failed horribly. I drowned. I drowned in five feet of water. Can't have nobody doing that. It's embarrassing. Altera would be ashamed. Ooh, it's dark down here. I see some stalkers. Is he eating a fish? Doesn't look too happy. I'm gonna take some of these. Just gonna go ahead and grab these little balls of creep vine silicone. I could go down there and take that hoverfish, but I kinda don't want to. Look, we're gastropods. Local radiation levels. Oh. Trend is consistent with damage to the Aurora's drive core. Are you getting poisoned? During planet is, it, is this too close to the Aurora? Am I getting radiation poisoning? Am I like Kirk? <laughs> Actually, um, after getting the flippers, I'm probably going to go ahead and... I don't know. After getting the flippers, I might work on getting a knife. I'm going to go into the bottom, actually. <laughs> Here we go. I need another sit. Oh, that's some good stuff right there. Mm -hmm. Alright, what do we got? I'm going to make some of that. I'm going to make some silicon rubber. I'm going to make all the silicone rubber I can. Actually, I need some lubricant too. Lubricant is essential in construction of vehicles and power plants. We got fins! We got fins! We can swim like a dolphin now! The fabricator draws from available data to provide environment appropriate Ooh. equipment using locally available materials. We make the survival knife now too. This setting cannot be overridden. All right, baby. Weapons were removed from standard survival blueprints following the massacre on Abraxas Prime. The knife remains the only. What happened on Abraxas Prime? Did ever explain what happened? Did, was there <laughs> somebody who went crazy on Abraxas Prime and murdered everybody? I think the next course of action would be to make a uh, repair tool. Uh, it's under tools, right? Okay, no. First course of action is to make a scanner. <laughs> okay, we gotta go get some cave sulfur. That's that's gonna be fun. All right. Uh, actually, you know what? We're uh, we we need some we need nourishment. I'm gonna deposit my silicon rubber and my lubricant. <clears throat> Excuse me. Excuse me, guys. I'm sorry. Carbonated drinks make me gassy, as I'm sure it does for a lot of you. Alright, I'm gonna take water. 
and a nutrient block. I'm gonna consume these with my mouth. There we go. All right, uh, I'm back. Not at 100%. We got another first aid kit. I might as well take that. So we need to go get some cave sulfur. That might be a little, uh, a little tedious. Oh my god, it's dark out here. Shit, you know what we should do? We need a flare, actually. I'm going to grab a flare so you guys can actually see what I'm doing. Because it's nighttime on this planet, and nighttime is scary. Yo, you can open for me or what? I got a flare, guys. Oh, ho, ho. my man was being all cool with the weird finger flip thing, and he almost dropped his flare. Still sick though. I'm gonna open this. Wait, why did I throw it? Hold up, I wanted to hold it. Why did I throw the flare? Where'd he go? Is it outside? Did the flare go outside? I threw the flare through the wall. <laughs> it's awesome. I'm gonna pick that up, actually. Can I hold this while it's lit? Ooh, I can. That's a that's a sea glide, right? Yeah, it is. All right, first course of action is to find some cave sulfur. So we need to find a crash fish. I don't want to go too deep, though. Actually, I can use some quartz. I can always use some quartz. Uh, I heard some weird noises. It sounds like gurgling. It sounds like a whale. It sounds like there's a pretty big creature nearby, actually. Oh, that is pretty. Look at that moon. There's two moons. Where are we? <laughs> I'd be really annoyed to live on in over those other planets. I'd be really paranoid to live on a uh, planet that has two moons circling it. There's always a potential that those two moons will crash. Crash fish. I know you guys like to live in caves and shit. See, this is one of those eggs, right? This is a crash fish egg? Then where's the crash fish at? How can there be a crash fish egg and no crash fish? Oh my god, gas balls! <laughs> yeah. I almost swam right into that guy's gas balls. Oh my god, my... What? What happened? You thieving bastard! Right when I was going down to pick up that, uh... Right when I was going down to pick up that debris, that stalker just kind of swam in and took it from me. I almost had it in my hands, guys. I almost had it in my hands. I'm having some trouble finding crash fish. But we need that, uh, we need that cave sulfur powder. Oh, this is fun. Uh, there's another beeper. I'm gonna get you. I'm gonna hold you, actually. You're gonna, you're gonna go with me on this journey, friend. I shall call you Peeping Tom. Because you got that big old disgusting eye on you, full of nutrients. Could there be a crash fish in there? I like when you breach the surface, you're like... Like you just come up like... <laughs> That's all I'd be. I mean, if I was underwater for 60 seconds, I would just come up for air like... Duh, duh, duh. That can't last 30 seconds underwater. Like at the community... I see a crash fish! Oh yeah, come on baby. I need your powder! hear my guy he was like he made a made a sound like he got hurt but we got the cave sulfur so that's a plus detecting sulfur deposits in the local cave systems sulfur is an essential component of the repair tool oh we know that don't we oh we know that where's my oh shit it's all the way over there whoops i didn't realize i was that far from well it's not even that far i didn't realize i it went this way, you know? No, it's making no sounds around me. Oxygen. I'm not drowning again, that's ridiculous. I drowned way too early. Uh, let's go up. Or 
We're going on about 20 minutes. But we have our peeper. I'd say we made really good progress. I'm just going to heal myself up real quick. There we go. Alright. Uh, I think I'm good for the time being. So I'm probably going to call this here. If you guys are enjoying this, uh, this series, if you guys like some, uh, like blah, blah, blah. if you guys like Lipton, if you guys like Subnautica and you enjoy my uh, my channel, my commentary, all of that good stuff, drop a like, miss subscribe, let me know what you guys uh, want to see, and uh, I will see you all in any future uploads. Oh, and also don't forget to hit the bell notification. It's very important. If you like my videos and you want to see more, hit that bell notification. I will see you all in any of my future uploads, but until then, have a wonderful day.